suggested that the emancipation statue with Abraham Lincoln should not be torn down. Explain. Well, that monument was put up in uh, April of 1879 on the 11th anniversary of Lincoln's assassination. Uh, it was paid for uh, $20,000 by African Americans, the first $5 given by a former slave woman named Charlotte Scott in Missouri. Uh, the model uh, for the kneeling slave, the offensive, now quite offensive image of that kneeling slave was a real person named Archer Alexander, who uh, was the last person in Missouri actually prosecuted under the Fugitive Slave Act. Uh, he has a very interesting history himself. The whole unveiling event of that statue was a black affair in Washington, D.C., a huge parade. But most importantly to me, Frederick Douglass all but rendered that ground sacred with the unveiling speech that he gave at that memorial. That speech is, to me, the second greatest speech of Douglass's life after his Fourth of July speech, because in that speech, he honestly, forthrightly declared that Abraham Lincoln had been the white man's president, that Abraham Lincoln had, uh, had the assumptions and prejudices of white Americans. He didn't just get up and make some ceremonial speech. He bluntly stated that. And he said, my fellow white Americans, you are Abraham Lincoln's children. I and my people are only his stepchildren by adoption, by necessity, by circumstances. But then in the second part of the speech, classic move by Frederick Douglass in his oratory, <laughs> he shifted. And he said, however, under his rule and in due time, and he used it three times as a refrain, he said, the way we became free was by this cautious, methodical method that Lincoln used federal power and used the armies to free African Americans. So on the one hand, it was this bluntly honest statement of where Lincoln had come from, but then also about where Lincoln had reached. And last point, in that speech, Douglas was telling the country, you're losing Reconstruction right now in 1876. If you don't act fast, you will lose all the great results of the Civil War. I prefer that we build a new emancipation memorial next to that monument. Let's, ins let's get some modern artists inspired by this story. Let's build an emancipation memorial next to it, which is actually what Frederick Douglass advocated about five days after he gave that unveiling speech. That speech by Frederick Douglass, one of the most extraordinary in American history. I, I in fact, have it pinned on my Twitter feed because it lines up with, if you read Carl Sandburg's biography of Abraham Lincoln, he was considered maddeningly cautious uh, by mm -hmm. abolitionists. He was considered maddening, maddeningly pragmatic. In fact, right. Lincoln said at the beginning, wrote a letter to the nation saying, if if my goal is to save the union, if that means uh, uh, it's a union that is half free and half slave, that is my goal. If that means it is completely free, then that is my goal. I put saving the union above everything else. But as you read Sandberg's book, you understand that Lincoln is just trying to drag, not the South, he's fighting the South, the North along in this project to free the slaves. And that Douglas speech, excuse me for going on here, it is one of the most remarkable speeches I've ever heard in explaining Abraham Lincoln and the mission of Abraham Lincoln. Kimberly, Donald Trump.